Oh my goodness, so dramatic. We have Andres here who actually stopped that man. Please describe Andres what happened. I know it's been an, such an emotional night for you. Yeah, it definitely has, you know, cuz uh you know, I was just I had just gotten home from work like literally 10 minutes it happened. I got home from work and 10 minutes after it happened, you know. <clears throat> describe what happened. I understand he broke into your home. Oh uh, yeah, so I was in the kitchen, you know, just having a normal conversation with my mother. Uh, I already was aware of the other helicopters because my brother had called me. He's like, hey, something's going on. But I, I didn't really care about that. You know, I was just trying to get going on with my day. So I was in the kitchen just drinking an energy drink. My mom was in the couch. We're talking and then we just we just seen the back door open and that back door is never supposed to open no matter what. Like, So when I seen it open, my first reaction was someone's getting in the house, you know, and, and knowing my mother's in the house, I'm going to defend the house, you know. <clears throat> So I, I literally just grabbed the kitchen knife, the one that's right there. Let me show you that knife. It's right over here. He yeah. grabbed the knife, and what did you do with that? Uh, I, I got it to a point where, you know, I made sure that he felt threatened. And I told him, I started cussing at him, but I told him, like, you got to get out the house, man, or I'm going to have to stab you, like, right now. And, and when I told him that, he got a little bit like, you know, he felt threatened. He put his hands up, and he kept saying, please, please, you know. So I... I started leading him just to get out the house through the door. So I, I was leading him out with the knife like this. But the whole time I had my mother, you know, just holding me back to just let him go. But I, I, I didn't like just want to let him go out that easy. So I was, I was, as I was leading him out right here, I saw that he started going through my keys, and that's when I got really mad. I was gonna. My mom saw that I was going all in, and she just kept throwing herself on me. She put her. That's the, that's why she ended up getting injured. She, she has yeah. a broken hand from what I understand from the struggle. She was trying to yeah. keep Andres from hurting the man. Yeah. At what point did? he grabbed the keys and then take off uh, he grabbed the keys once he saw my mom was holding me back he used that as a chance he he, was, he got him and <clears throat> all he did was just show me some scissors he had uh, he he knew honestly he didn't even like I don't know if he was intending but he just showed me some scissors he had and when he was my mom was holding me back he just took it as a chance to get out the house he um, I, I was running right here and that's when I dropped the knife once I saw him start up the truck. And when I saw him start up the truck, I, I kind of already knew it was over because just from looking at him, I can tell he, he didn't care about living no more. And, and describe for me what the meaning of this truck is for you. It was just hard work, you know, because uh, my goal, this was my goal since like two years ago was, you know, every year try to upgrade with the business, you know, like every year we were always, me and my brother and my dad, just try to do something and uh, they're landscapers yeah landscapers we took on so and um you know uh once i saw him uh, start up the truck i knew it was over and it broke my heart because we had just got in that truck like three weeks ago like three weeks ago and he was telling us that you know they saved so much money they had yeah. saved five thousand i understand uh that was just for the down payment yeah yeah so it, it hurts you know because because he took all of our equipment that we use, uh, and we still have to work tomorrow, Friday and Saturday, and, and I don't know how we're going to do it now. Well, I'm so sorry that you had to go through this, and I hope your mom's going to yeah, be yeah, okay. Yeah, thank you very much. You know. uh, Alex, uh, Marla, I'm going to send it back to you guys in the studio. I haven't seen the end of the pursuit. I'm really hoping his truck is going to be okay. Um, you know, for their sake, they need that for work. Yeah. Looks so, like the, um, I'll send it back to you guys. It looks like the equipment, at least, is going to be okay. Gina, can we ask him, him about the, the dogs and, the, and how they're doing? How are the dogs doing? What what, what was the dog? What were they doing when this uh, happened? I'm actually pretty like disappointed in my dog because uh, it's a pit bull. <laughs> so you know, I expected him to bite him, but he, he, honestly, I don't know why he just like let him slide. You know, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, and my dog even got inside the house, but he didn't. But, but the pit bull's okay, right? Yeah, the pit bull's okay, thankfully. I, he, my pit bull actually started chasing, him, chasing the truck. Yeah. But I, I just ran and grabbed my pit bull and put him back inside. See, that's what happens when you pamper them a lot, which yeah. is great. That's true. <laughs> well, we love, All right. Gina, Thank we you, love Andres. Uh, we love Andres. Uh, we're so sorry that his mother got injured and broke her hand in all this. And as Alex said, oh, yeah, yes. But did you see the knife? Did oh, you see yeah. this knife? My goodness, this, he could have killed him. If his mother had not stopped him, he could have killed him. And he would have had every right to protect himself and his mother. He didn't know what his intentions were when he broke into their house. I mean, just terrifying. Yeah. Oh, and it's also heartbreaking about the track. Uh, hopefully it can be repaired 
hopefully we can get this fixed for him. I think That's my I, goal. I think our viewers are going to buy the guy a new truck. I, I think that all of Southern California is going to help Wouldn't him get him a nicer truck. would that be wonderful? Yeah. Yes. That's <laughs> what I think is going to come out of this. That would be wonderful. All right, uh, Gina, thank yeah. you for that report.